The birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I'm a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative, Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who is said to be barren for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. In those days, Mary sent out and went with haste to the Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Who do you know that has had a baby? Did you get to hold that new baby? We hold new babies with care because they're so delicate. Now imagine for a moment that you're holding that new baby. How does it feel? Two women were about to have babies. Mary and Elizabeth had never had babies before. I mean, they had never even been mothers before, and they didn't even know what it would be like to give birth to a new child. Would they feel safe? Would they even know how to be mothers? Mary and Elizabeth's lives were about to change. Have you ever faced a change in your life that made you feel afraid or nervous? We're thinking about Mary and Elizabeth's story because they were brave and hopeful, even though they didn't know what would happen. An angel visited Mary to give her a message about her new child. Mary's baby was about to change the entire world. God also chose Elizabeth's baby for important things too. But God's plans for baby Jesus and baby John felt so mysterious. How do you think Mary and Elizabeth felt about this big announcement? Were they nervous? Were they afraid? Were they excited? While they, have, while they may have been afraid, they held hope that God would be faithful right by their side throughout this journey. We know Mary and Elizabeth held hope because the story tells us some amazing things that happened when they saw each other. When Elizabeth heard Mary's voice, baby John leaped inside of Elizabeth's womb. Then Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and began to give a blessing to Mary. Of course, it's possible to feel afraid and hold hope at the same time. 
Mary and Elizabeth held hope when they were apart, and now that they were together, hope grew even more between them. The Holy Spirit inspired Mary and Elizabeth to hold great hope for the future, even in all the uncertainty. Sometimes when we face challenges alone, we feel overwhelmed and even afraid to hold hope. The Holy Spirit inspires us too. When we join together, we can hold hope with each other and feel brave and strong together.